Okay, so one concept I did not cover with the last video, which I need to cover now, is what if they give you a side length but not the apothem? Let's uh, do an example with a hexagon. Mm, can't really see that, let's go with brown. Okay, so let's say they give you a hexagon. What? And they want you to find the area of the regular hexagon. Now we know area should be equal to the number of sides times the side length times the apothem. And let's say all they gave you was a side length was five. Okay, how are we going to find the area of this shape? Well, we need to find the apothem. Now, we learned from our last video that this can be split into triangles so we can find the angle measure and we're going to end up having to use trig. Now the number of triangles it splits up into is always 2 times the number of sides. In this case since we have 6 sides that's going to be 12. So we're going to take 360 divide it by 12 and we're going to get 30 degrees. Okay so that means that I know that this top angle here of the triangle I've highlighted in yellow is 30 degrees. And we're going to try and solve for the apothem, which I'm going to label in purple with an A. Okay, now we're going to use tangent just like before. So we know that tangent of 30 degrees is equal to opposite of this angle is 5 over apothem. Opposite over adjacent. Our apothem is adjacent. Okay, so we'd cross multiply and we'd end up finding that apothem was equal to 5 divided by the tangent of 30. Hello. Yes, Dennis. Why I don't know, buddy. Sorry, my son is here, so I'm going to be having side conversations with him throughout the duration of the video. Let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator and find out what that value is. And my calculator has given this to me in uh, radical mode. So we know that A is 5 times the square root of 3. At least that's what my calculator is giving me. I would really love to know what that is in non-square root. So I'm just going to multiply 5 times the square root of 3. And oh, my calculator does not want to give me a decimal equivalent of that. Let's see if I can convince it to. I'm just going to leave it as 5 squared of 3 since it won't give me anything else. So I now, now, now know that area is equal to number of sides, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, times the side length, which is 5, times the apothem, which is 5 squared of 3. Yes, Dennis? Daddy, help! I can't help you right now. I'm making a video for my students. Ooh, you know, I never wrote the entire formula. This is all over two. I apologize. Okay, so I'll go ahead and plug that into my calculator. I'll see if it gives me a non-decimal, uh, if it gives me an actual decimal equivalent, or if it's going to gonna leave it in radical form for us. I have a feeling it might leave it in radical form. Oh, it actually gave it to us as a decimal. Cool. So our area is 129.90. And that's how you're going to find the area when they just give you the side length and not the apothem. Either way, whether they give you the side length and not the apothem, or the apothem and not the side length, you're using tangent. Good luck.